Can you hear that? Or can you see this? It's a heavy front end clunk that happens on all BMWs when you stab the brake pedal or if you hit a bump in the road and it's caused by the control arm bushings. Today I'm going to show you how to diagnose it and how to fix it with basic hand tools at home. Step one, get your car up in the air. Now that we got some room, let me show you how these work. This is your forward control arm and this is your control arm bushing. This is probably the most common suspension failure on any BMW. Happens on E36s, E46s, E39s, E60s, E90s, E70s, E53s, every BMW, these blow out really, really fast. Sometimes as soon as 40 to 60K and some of them are actually fluid filled. Now I'm gonna take a pry bar and I'm gonna start whaling on this thing. And if you see when I pry on it, this front wheel actually shifts backwards. So you can see and imagine if you stab the brakes and you put a bunch of force on the front of this wheel, it's gonna cause that bushing to blow out. Or if you hit a pothole or a little curb or something, it's gonna cause that bushing to shift backwards and you're gonna feel a clunk. Like look at that wheel, it's moving like a whole quarter inch towards the rear. So this is a very, very common suspension component failure and I'm gonna show you how to replace these bushings and get this whole front end feeling like new again. Now, in addition to replacing just these front control arms, we're also gonna replace these lower ones as well. This car was given to me for free. I gave one of my BMWs away to a viewer and another viewer of mine gave me this one. And it was in pretty rough shape when I got it. And the suspension is still really rough. You can actually see impact marks here on the bottom of this control arm where somebody drove over something. So in addition to replacing these control arms, we're also gonna replace these lower ones as well. Completely freshen up the feel of this front end. So what are we replacing these blown out control arms with? Well, this is an upgraded M3 control arm kit that Meili made specifically for today's sponsor, FCP Euro. Now this is exactly why I love FCP Euro. I was shopping for replacement control arms on their website and I almost bought the Lemforders and then I saw this kit. Now if you look at these control arm bushings, they are way beefier than the traditional fluid filled style bushings. And every time I've worked on an M3, I've always noticed that the suspension lasts way longer, the bushings don't go out nearly as fast and they have better handling. So installing on these cars is going to to greatly improve the durability of these control arms. And it's also really gonna improve the handling on this 335i. Now I worked at a BMW shop for over six years and we would never touch anything aftermarket because of the fitment issues. But when I see an OEM plus option like this, I get super excited because I know the subframe on an E90 335i should be identical to an M3 and we shouldn't have any fitment issues with a really cool upgrade like this. So hear me out. They got the best price, the best warranty, the best parts catalog, the fastest shipping times, the best customer support, the best technical support, what more could you want? Go to fcpuro.com for all your BMW parts needs and a big thank you to FCPuro for sponsoring today's video. Let's go get these control arms installed. Let's get these wheels out of the way. Okay, let's start today with these front control arms. You're gonna need an 18 millimeter for this front bolt. Just like that. Flop her down. And on the back side, there's a little nut bracket. The kit actually comes with replacements. Oh, this thing is so blown out. It is ridiculous. You should not be able to wiggle the inside of a control arm bushing with your bare hand. Okay, next I'm taking a 21 millimeter socket on my half inch impact gun. I'm gonna rip this nut off. Now that happens all the time. We're gonna have to back it off by hand now. The nut doesn't wanna back out. So we're gonna put a Torx socket in here and we're gonna have to crank that nut off by hand. Sometimes you can get lucky by like sticking a pry bar up in here and putting extra pressure on it. Got it, there you go. We got lucky, that one snugged up. He just ran it in with the impact gun. All right, you chakalakas. I went all the way to the hardware store just for new batteries for this torque wrench so I could show you guys the right way to do it. Torque spec on this one, 175 Newton meters. Oh, okay, 175. All right, now I wanna see about getting this old clip out. There we go, put a new one in. And of course, it comes with the kit. Now we got our brand new bolt. This is an 8.8, .8, so it has a specific torque spec for what type of bolt it comes with. We're not gonna torque this one up yet because this bolt needs to be torqued up at ride height, but we're just gonna put it in like this, get it out of the way, and just get it started a little bit. Okay, no torquing it yet. Okay, now it's time for the other control arm. I think they actually call this one the lower control arm and this one the tension, tension rod. Let's see if we can rip this nut out. Oh, I see, she's all tight. All right, now for the other side, this lower control arm looks like 18 millimeter on both. 
bolt is just barely hanging up on the tie rod boot. Just gotta knock her out of there, lever her out, give it a little tap. Boom, baby. Now we got our new lower control arm. And what's cool is this is a completely different design. This is actually a sealed Heim joint as opposed to the big rubber bushing that the previous ones had. So this is a total upgrade and these don't have to be torqued down at ride height. You can actually torque these down while the vehicle is up in the air because this can spin inside the control arm whereas the other design you couldn't. It can be tricky to fit in there. All right, we got our new hardware. And we gotta see if it's an 8.8 .8 bolt, which it is. Come on, this is stupid. Two days later. Well, I kind of beat up the rack and pinion boot a little bit, but not too much. Okay, new nut goes on. Now we'll swing her back up into the knuckle. Okay, throw on my new nut. Run her down with the impact gun. There we go. 175 newton meters. Okay, 175. So for this lower control arm, this is an 8.8 .8 bolt, so we torque it to 68 newton meters plus 90 degrees. Now, like I said, this one is a new sealed Heim joint design, so you don't have to wait for ride height to torque it. We're only gonna do the tension control arms at ride height. So throw that on there. I got my 3 8 torque wrench out, torquing everything today for you guys. 68, and I'll put the link for this stuff in the description. Okay, there's 68. Now we got it set to 90 degrees. Now we need to do the same thing for this tension rod bolt. It's an 8.8 .8 grade. And so we're gonna do 68 newton meters plus 90 degrees. But before we do that one, we need to get this thing to ride height. So what I'm gonna do, put a floor jack underneath this ball joint here. And I'm gonna lift this steering knuckle until I get it maxed out like that. I can see the car starting to lift off of my jacking point. So I know that this is as compressed as I can get it. Okay, switch over to angle torque, 90 degrees. There we go. So this passenger side is completely done. Now we can switch over to the driver's side and do the exact same process. Now while I rip this side out, I just wanna take a minute and say how much I appreciate you guys for supporting me on this YouTube journey watching my videos, subscribing, liking, commenting. I wouldn't be here without you guys. I wouldn't be here without the viewers. And you guys have given me an opportunity to do something completely new and unique and unbelievable with my life. Two, three years ago, working as a firefighter, I never thought that I'd be a content creator on YouTube full time. And it's all thanks to you guys. So really, really appreciate your support. And I promise as we continue to grow, I will give plenty more cars away next year. I'll keep giving cars away. As long as I have the financial ability to give back to you guys, I will definitely continue to keep giving back to you guys because I owe it all to you guys. Now one more thing to consider on this driver's side, we have a headlight level sensor here. We have that little rod that clips onto that lower control arm and then it runs up to the sensor there. So FCP Euro gives you a new rod and new nuts to get that all fixed, but we need to get it disconnected from this lower control arm before we continue. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Why they gotta do that? The boot's totally in the way. You want me to pull the tie rod? Sixty-eight newton meters, ninety degrees. Okay, now we need to swap out this little arm. It's a ten millimeter nut. Get the old style arm out. They did a great job with this kit, making it super easy to swap this headlight level sensor over. Well done, FCP. All right, headlight level sensor is on tight, all reconnected, good to go. Last step, get this driver's side up to ride height. Last step, 68 newton meters on this tension rod, they call it. 
90 degrees. Now we can let this down. Boom! One last look at these beautiful bitchin' new Meili M3 control arms. Super nice. Also, look how clean the undercarriage of this 335 is. This thing used to be completely saturated in oil, but we dropped the subframe, replaced both turbos, and resealed the oil pan gasket with new engine mounts. This thing is driving and looking way better. When I first got this car, it was in really rough shape. The intake manifold was removed. The back of the intake valves were completely covered with carbon. It had a huge boost leak. It had nine or 10 broken oil pan bolts and it was just leaking oil like a sieve and i have a huge playlist showing every single repair i've done to this car and it is a great watch so if this is your type of content i highly suggest you check out that playlist and all those videos all right let's get this thing down on the ground and go take her for a drive also, I think it's time to put the chickens away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got eggs for the day. Good night, girls. Sage! There she is. There's the gimpy girl. Come here. <laughs> Who's the best dog on YouTube? Who's the best dog on YouTube, huh? You wanna go for a ride? You wanna go get some dinner? Okay, let's go get some dinner. I'm thinking tacos. What do you think? You want some tacos? Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, Sagey girl, come here. <whistles> Load up. Good girl, sit, good girl. All right, puppy, let's go pick up some tacos, huh? First drive, I am so excited. Now, if you are doing this repair yourself, you do want to get the car aligned afterwards. With blown out control arm bushings, whether it's tension rod or the lower control arm, your alignment's gonna be based off how worn those previous bushings were. So refreshing the alignment after a replacement like this is a very good idea. Now I'm gonna hold off on the alignment for a little bit. The front struts on this car are completely blown out and they need replacing. So I'm gonna wait until I do those and then get it aligned. Let's do a little uh, brake tap check real quick, like we did at the beginning. Oh my God. Oh my, it's completely fixed. Also too, every time I would drive into my garage, right here at this lip, it was so clunky and now it is just whisper quiet. I am really, really happy with this repair. FCP Euro did a great job putting together this upgrade kit. I love the OEM Plus stuff, I love it. Let's go get some tacos. It's feeling pretty good. I feel like it's handling a little different. Yeah, she's a little squirrely. She wants to oversteer a little bit. So that's another great point, guys. Just get it aligned after you do a big replacement like that. How about a uh, little highway pull to finish off the night, huh? Woo! -hoo 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 -hoo. She's a ripper. All right, gang, I think this is gonna be the last upload before the holiday season. I wanna wish everybody a very Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, whatever it is that you celebrate. I hope it is filled with friends and family and good food and happiness. I'm gonna be visiting some family this Christmas and we are really excited. A big thank you to FCP Euro for sponsoring today's video. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something new. And as always, folks, I'll see you on my next day off. Cheers, everybody. Say bye. Bye-bye.